There's a kind of zen quality to it. Your brain just kind of turns off and your body's just doing what it knows how to do. At first I thought it was the same thing as flying trapeze, but it's not. It's a static trapeze and it's totally different. And when I saw the flyer, I knew I had to do it and I was hooked. And I was like, that's what I want to do. <laughs> Camille Swift first learned trapeze in Chicago. I had everyone's, every first timer's surprise, which was how much pain is involved. Um, every new trick has its own little special uh, painful qualities, but you get over it. She came to Champaign and now she instructs others in her aerial passion. I knew there wasn't trapeze down here and uh, there has to be trapeze. So wherever I go, there has to be trapeze. So I ended up buying two of my own trapezes and starting. It's more fun to, to teach people than just to be training by yourself. So, um, and I ended up really loving teaching people as well. I think it gives you strength and courage in ways that you wouldn't have found in anything else. And you know, if you can get over the, the whole height thing, then you're gonna do great. I'm here with Sid now. Sid, uh, how long have you been uh, doing this sort of thing? Uh, it's been about a year and a half. I started training in silks in summer of 2012. How comfortable should I be being directly underneath you? Oh, it's okay. Um, my feet are pretty locked in and I'm all strapped up, so I'm not going to fall on anyone. So how many minutes can we leave you up here for this interview? Oh, I could be up here for a while. <laughs> Fear of heights, uh, upper body strength, um, just getting over the idea of um, having this aerial awareness of uh, knowing the space that you have in the air and how your body can move in it uh, and still be safe and make it look good. Some of it is just really hard. It's really hard to do and it requires a lot of upper body strength yeah. and um, it can take months to get, to get some type of trick. And flexibility is important. Precisely. The circus community and the people that are involved in it are very warm and welcoming and that's a huge part of it. It's a lot of fun to see um, people come in and have no idea of what their abilities are. Um, and you know, they, they can really struggle um, in the beginning, but I love finding people that are tenacious and really stick with something even though it's brutal. And, and then over time, they really just blossom into these really strong, stubborn individuals and, and, it, and you know, it's, it's rewarding to see that. Trapeze has really, again, it's really influenced my life uh, positively in a lot of ways and I'm, I'm super happy to have it. I couldn't live without it.